Thanks, we've been eating something. I know, it's been at least 15 minutes. We get to do it again. All we've been right. looking forward to Max this. Max is getting a little pale over yeah. here. We need to I feed see this that, guy. Max. You need more well, food. Well, he's 17. He burns through the calories yeah. so much faster than like, like Kim. Well, somebody. you are really going to enjoy this, Max, because we have a chef. Is she, is she is an authentic Mexican cuisine chef, and she's the co-host of The Kitchen on the Food Network, and she's a best-selling cookbook author as well. This is Chef Marcella Valladolid. Hello. Nice. Hi. Welcome. Thank it's you. nice to have you in our kitchen, thank Chef. You, thank you. Very excited to be here. And I know. You're I watch you. for two today, aren't I you? I am. Yeah. I smell chorizo and the baby kicks. It's like a mm. <laughs> Well, please bring it out for everyone to enjoy what yes. Chef tells us exactly yes. what it is we're making today oh. and how to do it. So what are we making, Delicious. Chef? Really simple. It's a tinga tostada. And tinga, tinga is basically chicken that's in a nice smoky chipotle sauce. Ooh, okay. Yummy. So really simple. What I have going on right here is a hot pan. And as you can see, it's got some fat in it because I cook some yummy chorizo. Mm. In there already. So you want to render that fat, and instead of adding any different kind of oil, you can use that same fat. You can add a little more veg oil if you need it. And then we're going to add some chopped up onions, just like this. Add those in there. And you always want to get that nice sizzle. Make sure that oil or that fat is nice and hot. We talked about Yeah, this. we talked about We that, need the yeah. sizzle. Yeah, we need sizzle and pop. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, and then. Got sizzle around here. Yeah, we well, yeah, well, get, <laughs> get down. You guys got to get down. Oh, You've got psychics. You've yeah. got sizzle. sizzle. Oh, wow. If it begins with an ass, we have it. <laughs> a little bit of garlic. Just a what? quick saute. And as you can see, it's getting all coated with that chorizo. Yeah, fat, with the chorizo. Which is kind of what we're looking for. Yeah, exactly what we're looking for right there. Yeah. And then once it gets nice and translucent, which means you've cut, sort of caramelized the onion, but just a tiny bit, not yeah. brown, just right. translucent. And then we're going to add our tomatillos. Tomatillos, those are green little things that have paper around them. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, and they're, it's so nice because, you know, when I was growing up, I, I couldn't find a lot of these Mexican ingredients in San Diego. Now you can find all this everywhere. stuff everywhere, which is, is really you cool. Move? You've got, huh? Is that why you move? <laughs> yeah, so now I can find my food. <laughs> I'm surprised with San Diego so close to Mexico that you couldn't find it, no, you know? No, in San Diego we can find, we well, can now find you plenty, can. actually. Yeah. But um, across the country, yeah. uh, you can now Sorry. find most of these ingredients, which yeah. is really great. Then we're going to add some chopped up tomatoes. So I see you chopped, uh, they skinned it and took the seeds out. Exactly. Right. And usually when you're adding a tomato, you want to wait till the end. But for this one, you want it to break it down because it's going to be your sauce. Right. And I suppose you wait till the end because it renders a lot of juice. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. You want, it's the sauce. It's the sauce yeah. for your finger, which is what you need. So We've got a little bit of time. Kim, you can't do this in a crock pot. <laughs> <laughs> you actually could, though. Thank now, you. Now, why would you go say that? <laughs> you actually could. You actually could, and it would work. What did you just add, Chef? A a little bit of chopped thyme. Okay. A little bit of marjoram. Marjoram. And then okay. we're gonna add some Mexican oregano. Can you? Where do you get Mexican oregano? At the Mexican market. What's okay. The, what's, the, what's the difference between Mexican yeah, oregano and regular? The one that you have at the supermarket is Mediterranean oregano, and the Mexican one is slightly more fragrant. But you can use either one. Okay. I just like the fragrance of the Mexican oregano. You have to make sure you crumble it though when you add it in, because yeah. they're gonna release all right. the fragrance. I'm gonna and smell then, this. The secret to tinga, we've mm. got that chipotle, which is basically a smoked jalapeno in a spicy, beautiful, vinegary sauce called adobo. And that goes in here. My husband calls it chipotle. Chipotle. Oh, honey, it's chipotle. As long chipotle. as you're eating it, you chipotle. can call it whatever you want. Why are you going to figure out he's doing that just to get under your skin? Right. No, it's not chipotle. I go, Tony's no, it's a very not. smart man. He's just pushing it. buttons. It does it. Okay, you're always, you're always defending him, Mark. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to add back in that nice chorizo to give it that great flavor. Oh, the smell is something. And then we're going to add, what I have here is shredded chicken. Really simple. I cooked it in some water with some aromatics, but if you don't want to go through that, just get a rotisserie chicken shredded and add it in there. Okay. And you're done. You see? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta keep it. Like, I'm pregnant and my kid eats like quesadillas every day, so I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm all about shortcuts these days. <laughs> yeah. If it's a little bit dry, you can add a little bit of chicken broth, either from what you use to cook the chicken or right. purchase chicken broth. It's totally cool. Just try and go with low sodium and you can season it yourself. Now, Chef, I know you have issues with uh, foods that are served in Mexican restaurants. Yes. What, what is it, and why, why do you feel that way? Oh, I, lo I love that you call them issues. Yeah, issues. They're, they're, deeply, <laughs> they're, they're deeply rooted, and they make me so sad. No. Um, actually, it's nice. <laughs> 
<laughs> I started my career being so critical of those foods, like what people think is Mexican food, right. and it's not like crunchy beef tacos. They don't even exist in Mexico, and right, right. nachos were actually born in L.A. Okay. You know? yeah, I, I did not know that. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so I, I used to get really frustrated with that because I grew up on the Mexican side of the border. My family's Mexican. I was like, this is not what my mom makes me right. for dinner. What are you guys talking about? But at the same time, all those foods open the hearts and minds of people to the ingredients that we do use. Right. So people know tortillas, they know chiles, they know beans, they know rice, they know all of these things because of those foods. But my mission in life is to tell people that it can be healthy, it can be very approachable, it doesn't have to be fried. So it's about kind of teaching people all over again what it really is to be right. Mexican and, and melding all those wonderful flavors together. Exactly. Can you smell this? Yeah, Max, how smell? are you doing over there? I am <laughs> again, well, more than halfway through, and I am loving him. <laughs> He's already burned the calories off. <laughs> <laughs> It's like celery to me, you know. It's, it's like, like celery. celery. More than you. Calories than you. you just sound yeah. bitter, Mark. You remember the day. Really? So after we, this is cooked, Chef, how, how do we assemble everything? Okay, really simple. We have one over here that's already done because you want to make sure all those flavors really blend. So let that go for a good 10, 15 minutes. You're going to break down the tomatillos. You're going to break down the tomatoes. So we've got a little bit right here. And then to build the tostada, really simple, all the tostada is a fried up tortilla. And if you want to make it a little bit healthier, instead of going in the oil, you can grill this or bake this. Yeah, I, I do. I grill and bake it. Yeah, yeah. You, just to get it yeah. crunchy. Yeah. And then we want to add a base. So we've got some refried beans. Now, for these guys, honestly, the canned ones do a really good job. Right. If you don't want to make them from scratch. I have. I bet you have a great recipe, though, for refried beans. I sure beans. do. Yeah. And my mother is turning in her grave that I just said on national television that you can use canned refried <laughs> yeah, beans. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> is that your oh, son? Oh, that's my boy! Are you oh, going to be in the segment? I'm so excited! Oh my gosh, how cute are you? Hi! This is such a nice Hello. surprise. I'm pregnant. Christina, I might get a welcome. welcome. What's your name? Ben? Fausto. Fausto? Ben, yeah. come here. Fausto. 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 Fausto Antonio. He's got like a Mexican soap Fausto opera. Fausto Antonio. I love it. <laughs> Viola Fausto. Hi. Yeah. Does your mom make this for you all the time? Yes. He's like, no it, quesadillas. It, no, 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 no. <laughs> Great. Are you good in the kitchen? Are you, do, does mom teach you stuff, how to do things in the kitchen? Yeah, she teaches me how to make quesadillas and quesadillas. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, is that your favorite thing to eat? I'm like blushing because yeah. yeah. that's all we really cook is quesadillas. <laughs> you are blushing, look at you, that's so cute. You right, so know what, using... kids say the darndest yeah. thing. They do, they do. She, he's like, my mom's really not a chef, all she knows how to make is like quesadillas. Right? <laughs> Has she made this dish for you, Fausto? No, not no, yet. Not I yet? made tostadas, <laughs> would you like to not with you? Would you like to taste some of it when it's done? Yeah. Okay. We had okay. a lot of hamburgers at home. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, pizza. Know. The pizza guy knows his name. Knows his name. <laughs> the pizza guy. Okay, so now we're going, we we added shredded um, lettuce. Yes, a little avocado. bit of, we added the tinga, and then we added What's the shredded. What's a tinga? Oh, the, the tinga chicken. is what we cooked over here. Right, okay. Yeah. What's and the tinga? And then we added it to the tostada. <laughs> A you little have bit of fresh ingredients. It's like almost you're like you're building a huge salad over it. You've got some chopped up radishes. This is very healthy. All this stuff. It's in very here. healthy. Really healthy. You can eat like the avocados yes. and the radishes yes. and stuff. Yep. This is crema. A little bit of Mexican crema. And if you don't have Mexican crema, you can always substitute with sour cream. Just kind of add a little bit of water so it gets nice and loose, and you can kind of spread it like oh, that. Beautiful. A little bit of salsa that you can absolutely make at home or. You can purchase yeah. again. Again, I bet. Mom so. rolling in gray. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, let's see your son because he's gonna he's gonna taste yeah. this apparently for the first time. Yeah. Right? Yes. So, Remember, your birthday's coming up. By the way.